بقدم لك الاخ باسل مدير الهيجين باسل والحسن هاو ار يو ديفنينج هاو ار يو ثانك يو فيري ماتش اتس بليجر تو ميت يو بليجر تو ميت يو اوكي سو سينس توداي وي توكينج اباوت لايك سيفتي اند 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 كلينس ديفنتلي اي ويل ثرو سم لايت اون ذس وي ار ذا وي اند ذا مانجمنت اوف ذا ستاف اوف راديسون بلو هوتيل وي make sure that we cater to our high standards of uh, hygiene we make sure that the, our guests are the first priority uh, and we try to provide them wholesome and safe food south i'll like to take you to our kitchen where okay. you will see a production team okay and i will show you the process of how we can do an effective hand wash perfect yes. let's do it so that's uh, the production area yes this is going right and that our production area now okay and today i will show you the proper way of uh, how to do an hand wash if you if you put your knees you know just wet your hands first so you should have a hot and cold running water warm water warm water and then why warm because warm one will remove the dirt and remove the bacteria and then you take a squeeze of soap and just rub through your hands all over your hands you you wait for 20 seconds for the soap to be effective Once you finish 20 seconds, then you can just rinse. So you keep the soap in your hand 20 seconds. 20 seconds. After you wash your hands, you just take a squeeze of the sanitizer. Basically, I will start with this. Knee, put your knee down there. Yes. Squeeze it. Then wait 20 seconds. Yes. You can use a foot pedal. Okay. Sanitizer. Shine and clean. Right. Food can you tell me about these things here? Well, you can see there are different posters. You can see they are very, very important that we have chopping boards, which are color coded, and they will have to be used for different meat items. يعني شوف كل صح يعني كل مكان يقطعون فيه يعني شوف مثلاً السمك يقطعونه باللون الأزرق هنا باللون الأخضر. البريد بالابيض فكل لون يقطعون فيه مختلف عشان ما يكون البكتيريا مختلفين هاي جدا مهم اوكي okay, so what about this this is the gyrometer basically mm, the, the danger zone that is from 5 degrees to 62 degrees celsius uh-huh. that is called the danger zone in this area the bacteria are more prone wow. they are more dangerous at this area So what happens if you store five degrees to below minus 18? It's a safe zone. During this time, the bacteria sleep. And minus 18, where you keep your chicken frozen, the bacteria are almost dead. مهم جدا إن إحنا نحط في اعتبارنا لأصحاب المطاعم إن دوم على الثلاجة لازم تأخذ القراءات على حسب الستاندرز مال السيفتي والهيلف. شوف انت عندك هني الثلاجه اللي هناك عليها قراءه الثلاجه هذه عليها قراءه الثلاجه هذه عليها قراءه كل واحده عليها قراءات مختلفه على حسب الشفت هاي يساعدك تحافظ على الاغذيه تكون محفوظه والميكروبات ما تتعرض للميكروبات هم ماخذين هالموضوع فيري سيريسلي وهم الفندق الوحيد او يمكن في فنادق ثانيه انا اي دونت نو بس هم جد يعني واحد من الفنادق اللي ماخذين الايزو سيرتيفيكيشن في السيفتي فهاي جدا شخص شيء مفيد لاصحاب المطاعم انه يهتمون
Mr. Emre, thank you very much uh, for uh, your time. How important the customer service for you guys? Actually, it is number one priority. And our aim is always to be the number one in the city. This is our target. And for this, we have to... The most important thing is our colleagues. Our colleagues are here. They are, we have some people here for even 40 years. They are working with us. And, uh, and we give uh, very much importance to, to our colleagues to train them and to be loyal to us. So uh, it's very, very important. We have continuous trainings every day. Our training manager all around the hotel, and she's giving continuous trainings to give it the best guest service in Doha. Perfect, Mr. thank you very much for thank your you. time. Thank you for coming. Hospitality business is huge, and food and beverage is one of the biggest parts of the industry. And my recommendation for my colleagues who wants to be a part of the hospitality industry, for new graduates and for entrepreneurs, that they have to, first of all, get a very good education. And also during their education, they have to take advantage of every steps of their trainings. And in our business, tasting, watching, and going around the world is a part of the business. So you have to take all the advantage of seeing new things, tasting new products, and you have to always watch the new trends around you as well. Uh, my advice is for the newcomers, for the industry is, basically it is a very challenging and uh, very welcoming industry. And uh, if you want to come as an investor in the food and beverage, I think that is a great idea. But my advice is always do a, a proper market study, what are the, the requirements, and do a climate study and see that what exactly needed to those areas and whom you're going to cater and what you really uh, need uh, the requirements are whether available within the other region mm -hmm. and then once you see that concept is there so then you can based on your business plan and then uh, start working on it the food is amazing as we as we are talking about concerning the the meat there they have special special way to, to do it so it's very tender and uh, also as we are we are algerian so here we found some what we call in algeria bourek. so we found something just like mm -hmm. Look, look like work and it, it was delicious. The team here is, is taking care of us and for example look all our cups are full of water so every, every time we need something we, we don't need to ask even you know so the guys are already are always here and asking what, 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 what do we need but so it's, it's, it's perfect. تعلمنا كثير من الشيف موسى وتعلمنا من مدير الفندق أمري وتعلمنا طبعا من السينا تعلمنا منه أن أنت لازم تفكر في العمليات لازم يكون عندك خدمة عملاء عالية ولازم يكون الكواليتي والجودة عالية بحيث أنك تجذب عملاء أكبر أتمنى أنكم استفدتوا من هذه الحلقة بشكل كبير مثل ما أنا استفدت ونشوفكم إن شاء الله في حلقات جديدة مع أكل جديد ومعلومات جديدة ومع ريادة بايت شكراً